Today, Microsoft is a tech titan, but its journey to the top began with a single, brilliant, and almost unbelievably fortunate deal. The story of how they acquired the operating system that would become MSDOS is a wild tale of missed opportunities, a lucky break, and a bargain that changed the world. In the late 1970s, IBM was developing its first personal computer and needed an operating system. They first approached Digital Research, the leading OS company at the time, run by a brilliant programmer named Gary Kildall. But the negotiations famously broke down, some say due to a personality clash, others say over licensing terms. IBM wanted a flat fee, while Kildall's wife, who handled the business, insisted on a royalty. With time running out, IBM turned to a young, up-and-coming company they already worked with, Microsoft, run by a 24-year-old Bill Gates. Gates didn't have an operating system, but he saw the opportunity. A small company in Seattle had a simple, quick-and-dirty operating system called QDOS, or 86DOS. Gates, recognizing its potential and its similarity to Kill Doll's work, licensed it for a small sum, then purchased the full rights for a mere $50,000. What happened next was the master stroke. Instead of selling the operating system to IBM outright, Microsoft licensed it to them, retaining the right to sell it to other computer manufacturers. This decision allowed Microsoft to become the dominant software vendor for all the emerging IBM-compatible PCs, and a legendary business was born. Did you know the story behind DOS? Like, share, and subscribe to Dimmest Tech on YouTube for more untold tech history.